just want to speak to you for a few moments about what we saw here tonight. It is truly a question of what do you believe? Whether you believe that God came as a baby 2,000 years ago and lived and walked and spoke love and truth and died on a cross for our redemption, or you believe perhaps something else. Maybe you evolved from a monkey. I don't know. But God so loved the earth, the world, that He sent His only begotten Son. He sent His Son to us as an extravagant gift in heaven. The individual that played Jesus up here spoke to me in the back room. Interesting enough, last year we had a play here. His little boy got saved. And through that, he was in the midst of a divorce. And God restored. Not only did he save their entire family, he restored their marriage. And his wife was one of the ages. You can believe, if you want, that there's no God and there's no miracles. That life is a chance. Or you can choose to believe what God has declared and what nature itself preaches to us. Is that there is a God of love. There's a God of second chances. There's a God that can speak to death and bring forth life. You may be in this room today. Maybe you have religion. Maybe you don't know God in an intimate way. God wants you to know Him intimately. He wants you to know this salvation. Maybe you believe that God couldn't love you because you're too broken. Because you're too soiled by the world. Your heart is too hard. If you simply believe that God can soften your heart, that God can redeem you, can take your life and turn it around, God is more than just a babe in a manger, but He's a sovereign King. The world wants us to know and it's okay with the idea that God is in a manger and He's a little baby, but the world struggles with the idea that God is a sovereign king and he reigns and rules forever. He's eternal. They want to take all the majesty and the power out of him. But I'm going to tell you, wherever you find yourself tonight, God is able to reach into your situation. He's able to reach down into your struggle, your disappointment, your heartache. And he's able to speak peace. He's able to speak hope and restoration and life. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him can be saved. It is His promise to you and to me, salvation. It's not because you're so good, because He's so good. Amen? Amen. He's so good. It's not what we can do. It's what He has already accomplished Amen. on the cross. It's your choice to believe or not. God is a God of love and He's not going to force anybody to serve Him as we saw the Tsar who leads as, a, leads as a tyrant. God is not a tyrannical God. He's a God of immense love. He knows your broken heart. He knows the struggles that you're going through right now. Maybe you see people around you that are really enjoying Christmas. And maybe you're miserable. I'm going to tell you something, friends. There's hope. And that hope is in Christ. The same God. The same God that came and restored the, the man who depicted Jesus. Can come into your life this night. And bring hope. And bring purpose. He loves you immensely. But it's your choice to believe. It's your choice. It's your choice. You bow your hearts with me for a moment. Close your eyes. You're in this room tonight. Maybe you don't know God. You don't even know if there is a God. But you know that you're, you're lonely. You're hollow. Your life is pointless. It's selfish. Self-serving. 
Maybe it's just full of drugs, pornography, all kinds of evil that is just destroying you and taking away your confidence. You want God to just reach into your situation. You want to believe that there is hope for your life, that there's purpose for your life, that there's salvation. Friends, there is. You don't have to struggle to try to earn God's approval. It is simply believing that He loves you and that He can forgive you and that He can save you to the uttermost. If you're here tonight and you don't know God, if you were to die, God forbid you were to die this evening, you don't know for sure that you'd go to heaven. God wants you to know for sure. He wants you to have peace. He wants you to know the Prince of Peace. You don't know for sure if you were to die tonight, but you want God to come into your life and you want to have the promise, the purpose of His coming, eternal life. I ask you, every eye is closed. I ask you just to slip up your hand right now. Anyone tonight? I see that hand. You can put it down. Anybody else? You want Jesus to be Lord of your life. You're, trying, you're tired of trying to earn your way into heaven. Maybe you're here tonight. And you used to walk with God. You used to go to church. You used to read your Bible. You used to pray. You used to have sweet fellowship with the Lord. And life got busy. You got distracted somehow. I'm going to tell you, God is reaching out for you tonight. He's wanting you to come back to your first love. It's not too late for you. Your sin is not beyond His forgiveness. What do you believe tonight? Can God forgive you? If that's you tonight, you used to walk with the Lord, but you've allowed sin and depravity to overtake discouragement and hopelessness. And you need God to breathe on you once again, fresh and anew, to forgive you, to wash you. If that's you tonight, I ask you just to slip up your hand. Anyone tonight? I see that hand, brother. I see that hand, sister. Anybody else tonight? I see that hand way back there in the back. Anybody else tonight? I see the hands. God bless you. Anybody else? pray a prayer with you. I'd like us all to pray together. You repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus I need you. I need you. I need you to be my rescuer. I need you to save me. I need you to save me. I need you, Lord God, to wash me. I need you to wash me, God. To cleanse me of all unrighteousness. I need your rest. I need your rest. Today I choose to believe you. Today I choose to believe you. That you are able. That you are able. That you are mighty to save. That you are mighty to save. And I ask you to save me. I, ask you to save I believe. I believe in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. These ladies here are going to come down the aisles and they're going to give each of you at the end just a little handful. These are little prayer cloths. And I ask you just to take them with you as a reminder. There's nothing special about these prayer cloths per se, but they've been prayed over. If you get struggling, if you get perhaps sick, remember that God wants to heal you and wants to save you. He loves you. And just keep these prayer cloths in your Bible as a reminder that God is mighty to save. He's mighty to heal and mighty to restore. You can go ahead and hand those out. The Lord is good, friend, and He loves you tonight. If you would hand those down, which they give you those, it would be awesome.